last program I was talking to Atta Marara, who is a lawyer, a writer, and a motivational speaker. I hope you learned a lot about business. Today I'm with another interesting guest. He's a broadcaster, he's a preacher, and a musician. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I feel very welcome. Oh, thank you so much. That's a good thing. That means we're doing a great job, right? Yes, you are. Definitely. All right. Firstly, did you ever imagine in your life when you were growing up that you were going to live in New York? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a little story to tell. Uh, it's like, you know, when I was six years old, you know, this is what God told me. You would go to New York. And, uh, was that through a dream? No. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one of those daydreamers. People who dream about things when they're walking in. There. People, are, people are like, what, what's wrong with him? Did you hear what he just said? You know, I went to my mother and I said, Mom, I'm, I'm going to go to New York. And uh, she was a standard. When you were six years old? Six years old. And, uh, you know, my mom is standard three, you know, Zimbabwean educational standards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, she said, okay. So she took out a map and she laid it down. This is where New York is. Your father's car cannot take you to New York. Uh, my she showed you on the map? The map, yes, where okay. New York is and where Zimbabwe is. And uh, she showed me the ocean and uh, she said, your father's car cannot take you there. Your grandfather, my father was a truck driver. You know, those semi-trucks. Uh -huh. You know, the, the 16-wheeler truck trucks. Uh -huh. your, your, where was this? This is in Chinoy. Chinoy, okay. Beautiful, amazing mm -hmm. Chinoy. Mm -hmm. You know, and so for you to be able to go there, you have to very, you have to be to have very good education, make money, and be able to yeah. buy a ticket, and uh, be able to to fly to New York. It's Otherwise, very smart mom. yes, you can't yes. use the boat because. The <laughs> so basically, that's what happened in my life. So you seriously heard a voice from God when yes. you were six years old of where yes. you were gonna go? Yes, I didn't even know anything about New York. I didn't. Okay. Um, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm in a small town called Chinoy. Chinoy, yes. I you know, the biggest say. thing in Chinoy then is Harare, the capital city of Zimbabwe. So, you know, Had like... Have you been to Harare that time? That time, it's six. I don't think so. As I don't think so. As my mom told me, I couldn't New York. Yes. You know, I'm, 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 now I'm realizing yes. it's six. It's possible, but I don't think so. I didn't... Uh -huh. I, I don't think I'd never been to Harare at that time. I can't uh -huh. remember, but, you know. But my parents could have gone because we had relatives in Harare at that time. And remember this, I'm talking about Harare at that time was a huge city, big city, amazing Everybody lights. Everybody wanted to come to Harare. Everybody wanted to go to Harare. Yes. And here's a you know, six-year-old, you know, mm -hmm. thinking about going to New York. Did you even understand what that meant then? It's funny because, you know, I, I got intrigued, uh -huh. you know, by, I got fascinated that I needed to fly to be able to go to this place. You know, I didn't have to go on the boat. It would take a long time. I didn't have to use my father's Vauxhall. Vauxhall was like, a, you know, you know, some of these British cars that they had at that time. You know, you know I didn't have to use that. Okay. And, uh, sometimes it would break, you know, when you're going to, to Musha. <laughs> You know, so I was, I was fascinated. Exactly. Yeah, so I was fascinated by yes. the idea of flying. Something different. Yes. Yeah, because remember, our, we would see the planes, even in Genoa, you would see yes. the planes flying every now and then, you know, once a month or twice a month, something like that. You know, so that fascinated me. And you said one day. One day. Go. Yes, one day. Okay, so is, do, do, do you think that is a blessing that you have, a spiritual blessing that you have to see things? I think it is. I think it is. Uh, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a lot of things in my life didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. A lot of things, you know, I, I see things, even my wife, I tell my wife, listen, mm -hmm. we're going to do this, and she's like, what? How does it come to you? What's wrong with you? It's when you're just sitting or you, 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 you're sleeping? No, I believe, that, I believe that God speaks to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, God speaks to everybody, but the question is, are people listening? Yeah. How does it speak to us? Like right now I'm sitting, how do I know that this, this is for God? You have to ask me, who is God? Where is God? You know, and maybe the shortcut is to say God is a spirit, you know, and He's present everywhere, you know, and the question is, do you want to connect to Him or not? Or do you believe in Him or not? And believing sometimes, 
you know, and for me, I've been preaching and I'm telling people, you know, at, at a certain time in life, we have to go beyond believing. Okay. We have to get to a place where you know for real. That it is God. Yes. Or even know that this is going to happen and, uh, and it happens. You know, and then that becomes prophetic. Mm -hmm. That becomes prophetic in life, and I, you know, and I, I you know, and I, I, I feel like the, the prophetic word in Zimbabwe is being abused, so I don't want to get into that a lot. Okay. But I believe that if you're, you know, a person who is connected to God, it becomes prophetic. You know, if God speaks to you and tells you things, mm -hmm. and they do happen, you know, without acting or any people acting behind the scenes, and then they come in front of cameras and they do, you know. I'm talking about just being connected to God. For example, I'll give you an example. I were in, in, in New York, I was given a, they, they asked me to lead a church. Mm -hmm. You know, I walked in with my sermon and there were four people sitting in the chair, in the chairs, in the pews. You know, and I'm like, really? seven people the next week there was 11 people and uh, you know and growth happened by the time we left this place you know it was a full-fledged church but one of some of the things that happened like for example you know I would walk in with the, I walked into the chapel and I said to my wife I don't like this stage you know let's redo the stage and I said let's buy you know drums let's buy guitars let's buy uh, a keyboard a nice keyboard and my wife was like who's gonna play them because Manila performed it. Yeah, and who's mm -hmm. gonna play them? And maybe that time they were is, is seven. And I said, to her, and I said to her, if you build it, they will come. If you build, maybe if one day you can preach on that. If you build, if you it, build it, they will come. They will come. You know. So, so this, just this, this so yes. that's it was remember, remember, being prophetic things. Don't if you say certain things, yes. and then they don't happen. A long time ago, in the Bible, biblical times, mm -hmm. they would kill you. So you have to know what you for do real. If it's, if yes. it's a voice. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and for, for us, it happened. You know, people came, it, we had a very good praise and worship group later on, you know, but I, I trusted God and I even told some of the church members who were there, I said, don't worry, people are going to come to play. How do you this differentiate week. between? you just thinking about something and actually hearing from God and understanding you that really, it's a voice from God. You really have to be connected to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You need to be, uh, you know, you have to have a spirit of discernment. Okay. You know, this is one of the, you know, the, that spiritual aspect a lot of people are losing out on, mm -hmm. the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just about to go into something else that is very political, but so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Alone. No, no, we'll get to that. No, we'll I'm, I'm, to I'm gonna, that <laughs> one, I'm not even gonna touch it, you know, because I don't wanna, but uh, you know, it's the spirit of discernment. Yes. You know, where you, you know, you, you are able to discern, to know the, the difference. difference, to understand, you know, and so you have to be connected to God, you have to be very spiritually. Uh, biblically sound mm -hmm. in the things that you do. Yeah. Do you make mistakes in life? Definitely. Uh, uh, do you miss the mark sometimes? Mm -hmm. Definitely. If you are not connected to the to, to God, mm -hmm. you know. I, I tell people all the time. One of the things, the issues that marriage is, you know, break breaking of marriages right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. I was talking when I was driving here. I met some young ladies from Machinoy Technical College, and we were just talking. And I was like, so pastor, tell me, how, how do I know the right person? How, how, do, how can I tell this is the right person, the one that I'm going to marry and I'm going to spend the rest of my life mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that I'm going to walk on the beach with when we're 75 years old, still arguing a little bit, but still together. How do I know? And I said, that is the problem, because a lot of times, you know, women, you know, men, you see a beautiful woman, oh my goodness, <laughs> God, she's the one. And we do that. Yeah, but... Because we're looking at but the physical. Yeah, but, yeah, because, but sometimes, you know, God says, no, she's not the one. 
How do I know that God exactly. is saying he's not the one? Here's the thing. If you are praying for mm -hmm. the right person, mm -hmm. God will give you the right person. There's no two ways about that one. So I pray mm -hmm. the next guy who's going to come to me is the one that God is giving me. You see, you see, you see, you see, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is where you lose it because now the yes. problem with us, yes. you know, is you're praying for somebody, yes. right? Uh -huh. Right. And God wants to give you the right person. Uh -huh. And then you meet Sean on the streets of, of New York. No, no, not New York, of Harare. Yes. Yeah. And you like Sean. And then your emotions make me pray take for over. Sean. No, take over. <laughs> You know, it's like you're saying to, 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 to somebody, can you help me? And then when they try to help you, and then you say, wait, let me help myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, God is saying, you, you meet Sean. Instead of saying, God, is Sean the right person? You're First, saying, no. I Sean, no, 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 God, Sean is, is look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Three babies with Sean. God, you know, this is the man of my dreams. Oh, I like I'm sure you. I'm you, you have experienced a lot of that. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of single women who are actually going through that that spiritual confusion. Or yes, should exactly. I say the Christian, yes. Christian confusion? Exactly. Of, Where you take over, God. And, yeah. and, and, and it, it's either. That's why you maybe you mentioned about discernment. Yes. How do I know that what I've prayed for is here now. You have to be Or this is actually not the right one. Okay. Maybe it's the devil who have brought someone else exactly. to block me exactly. to get, get to, the, to right the right person. person. But how do yeah. I know that John has This me? is where this is where I'm saying you gotta be if you are praying for somebody, yes. don't rush into conclusions. Okay. You know, let God be God. Uh -huh. Be still and know that I am God. Let God be God. Don't be too excited over somebody that you just met. You know, and then then the next thing is, oh yeah, you know, you came to my dreams and all those things. No, let okay. God be God. Let God guide you. Maybe God doesn't really want you to to get the the, the tall hunk that you've been thinking about. Who doesn't want a tall hunk? No, no, no. Exactly. You see, that's that's where the problem is. Maybe God does not want that. Okay. Maybe God is looking for a man who is going to love you for who you are. One of the things that I ask men when, 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 when we're doing premarital uh, counseling, mm -hmm. you know, and somebody says, oh, Pastor, I want to introduce you to my, 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 my boyfriend, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, I ask, you know, I, I, I usually ask this question, and I get a lot of guys with yes. this one. So you like her? Yeah, I do. You love her? Yes, I do. Yeah. And she's skinny, she's nice, she's, her hair, everything is good. Mm -hmm. And I ask them, you know, so tell me, what are you going to do if she becomes 300 pounds they're like what, what do you mean what, what, what do you mean what do you mean 300 pounds i mean i mean so you know you know women sometimes they, they grow bigger when they you know when they have when a child children, what are you yes. going to do you know when when when, when she becomes happens. 300 pounds and then what happens the conversation changes <laughs> You know, and uh, and I'm like, you know, yeah, you know, you know, because it sh the conversation should not change. But I should, I should also just mention mm -hmm. that I are we encouraging that mm -hmm. that the, the young guys who want to get married should look for a particular body size because no. if they look for a pretty woman no. who's, who's and, and skinny and beautiful, no, remember, it's also a problem. Remember, if you're looking for a wife. You know, the Bible talks about, uh, you know, a woman of virtue. Yes. You're looking for a good woman, you know, who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Okay. You know, that's what you're looking for. Whether she is tall or short or big or skinny, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you, you may think about, you know, your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. The way, you know, sometimes God can actually tell you what you are going to get. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't think looks are important at all. You know, because every woman, I believe, every woman on earth today is beautiful. Remember, let me... Let me I need to understand that. Let me say, let me, let me ta let me say to this to you. Let me say this to you. Mm -hmm. Every woman yeah. is beautiful. Yes, that's true. And in Mbe... That society, society actually disagrees Don't for, forget, with forget the society. They judge forget society. Forget society. I'll tell you why forget society. Forget mm -hmm. society because society is already confused. 
the, you're talk, when you say society, you're talking about people who are married who are already confused in their marriages. So you can't allow those people to define your future. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like so ane wombe yawe. You know, e ane nzewe wombe whatever. Maybe panem kuma na kuchago kuma miskana ane ane munoshi. Wombe. Ane nzewe uchi. And those on so match you find your yeah. one. But you if you run a muno muno ombe and then you're looking for the wrong person. We yet panemarchaga muna and muno ombe is all that match made in hell in heaven. And those on. So you, you you have to wait for God. You have you can't tell God what you want. You can. So the but remember if you want it's not a need. Show me. Show me. Bring him or her to me, God. I this was like I was a a man. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. This is how this is how beautiful God is. Mara yeah. hapo fogo kupata the wrong one. Mara hapo fogo kupata the wrong one. Why would he do that? I don't know. Okay, let's go back again. Yes. You find Sean. You like Sean, the hunk, the tall, the handsome muscles, you know, six pack and everything. You know, you like him and you get married, you know, big wedding, you know, go to, I don't know what Mazano Abuchat is, I could be glad about we shared at all these places, you know, all big these days wedding. people go overseas as well. Okay, you know, good, see, go there you go. So you do a, a nice wedding, three, yeah. you know, you know, two years, five years, ten years, yeah. the marriage comes down and crashes, to the crashes down and you are heartbroken and the children are affected by the whole situation. And then you come back to God and say, where did I go wrong? No, it is that time again. You did not listen. You did not listen. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, and I preached about this on Sunday, last Sunday. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I talked about it. You know, one woman came to me and said, you know what, you were talking about me. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking exactly about me. And I said, really? And she explained, yeah, this, these are some of the things that you did. And, and we, we do that. We, we, do, we, we, we become emotional. We're emotional human beings. We will run into conclusions. And then, we, when, and then we zoom to our doomsday. That's when we come back to earth again. You know? So I would say, you know, wait, on, wait upon wait the upon Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Yes, that's what the Word of God says. This world was built on the Word of God. Let's do that. So I'm, I'm going to come back to okay. when you were six years old mm -hmm. when did your dream and your vision come true eventually and I I'm, I'm still want to understand in the environment yet she know it, and you're talking mm. about the chakurandeke and yes. nobody around you mm. yeah. 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 And they are, they are, when I'm <laughs> telling them I don't, I don't say I don't say that they're actually happened? laughing at me yeah they're laughing at me you know so yeah. you know oh, I'm gonna go to New York and yes. they're laughing at me you know and mm. I'm okay and it's okay for people to laugh at you it's okay you know do you know and know? as a six-year-old yeah. boy, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? Did, did it affect you emotionally? No, I, I kept on running around. Yeah. I kept on running around. I kept on playing soccer. I kept on going to Chinoy Primary School. You know, did the normal She's things, the but at the back of my mind. Yeah. No, I didn't say, tell everybody okay. or like, oh, where did you? No, okay. I, I was a normal boy. Uh -huh. I went to, you know, you know, Chinoy Primary School, did, you know, played, sang in the choir. Yes. You know, you know, but at the back of my mind, you knew. I knew. At the back of my mind, I knew that I would go to New York. Yeah, it, it, remember what I said? You know, they, there's a point that we, we should go beyond believing mm -hmm. and knowing. So when you, if you spoke to me at 14, even as I grew up, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't saying I think I'm going to New York or I you believe. Knew. I said no, God wants told. me to go to New York. God told and me. And your father? I'm going. He knew that, my parents knew that, and they thought... Yes, yes, were they supportive? <laughs> no, he, he has dreams. Allow him to have his dreams. Mm -hmm. Dream on dreamer. My wife wants so to... So they actually dream believed that he had a vision in his Yes, okay. yes. And, and, and listen, remember, I'm just a child. Yes. It's okay for me to, to dream. Yes. It's okay for me to think that God told me this. They just go, went on with their lives. It's okay. They didn't think, oh my goodness, no. They didn't think about it. They just said, oh well, that's, that's what he thinks. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. In the time, the guy, I'm sick as I get, you know, Shamiam Hingi. You know, just like a normal. <laughs> yes. Hingi yes. those are the, what is that? Those are the berries. The, the ma Marlboros. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you got to understand. Mashuna and West. Yeah. 
yes. yes. And there's a Zuri, the mix. Oh, okay. So my Yingi, that's Mahabros. Yes, that's, that's the other one. I don't know what's a man. Yes, <laughs> but it, it's nice because no crumbs are cooked. So that's. Why is it yeah better? <laughs> you know, but okay. Um, yeah, yeah. And then when you were fourteen, and then what happened? Did you it's come funny to Arafest? Because I know you have broadcast broadcasting background. What yes, happened? Yes, it's um. I don't know why you mentioned fourteen. I don't know why you mentioned fourteen, but at fourteen, I, I my father, 14 like my father said to me, "You are going to be a pastor." At fourteen. Yes. And uh, my father never drank. He never smoked. I knew that for sure. Okay. But um, I walked away from him because I was very respectful. And then I went to my friends. I was like. <laughs> Say, man, can, can you believe what's wrong with him? Really? Yeah. Pastor who? Me? No. No. I want to be like Oliver Mtukudzi. You want to be a musician? I want to I want to go and work on radio. <laughs> I don't want radio two or radio four. I want radio three. That's oh, what you, I want. You were very specific. That's what I want. That's what I want. So, so did you so, listen at so, that time? Were you listening to the radio? Yeah. Radio three, yeah, I, I listened to Radio Two, but uh, yes. Radio Three was my 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 you know uh -huh. top of the list. Eunice Goto, you know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, you know. <laughs> in fact, I used to to, to write to Eunice Goto yes. in the special request program, wow. whatever, you know. And and I would I loved it so much when she said, "Oh, here, here, here's a letter from my boyfriend." Oh, sweet. You know. <laughs> 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 my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> Your new boyfriend, yeah, 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 Eunice Goto. But we were kids. She was grown and you know, okay. and Radio 3. Yes. So, you know, so everybody you know, knew, oh, you, you need to go to his boyfriend because she would call me that on oh, radio. Lovely. And but I always wanted to work on Radio 3, uh -huh. you know. And then eventually, when I went on Radio 3, she had left, you know, she was older, she had gone, you know. Is it? But you she know. was your source of inspiration for you. No, no, I just enjoyed their programs, you know, John Matinde, you know, those those guys, uh, you know, Teach Mataj, mm -hmm. you know, Peter Jones, mm -hmm. you know, I ended Peter up, Jones. you know, coming in and uh -huh. Peter Jones is leaving the studio. That was, you know, that was a dream come true for me, you know. So, but at 14, my father told me, you know, you you to pass and, 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 and I said, forget him, you know, forget him, you know, you don't know what he's talking about. I'm out of here. And you then know. you went to New York. Uh, yes. Was that at 14 or? No, no, later. Casting work? Later, yeah, yeah, later I was working at the University of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. you know, and there was, um, you know, what do you call them? Auditions mm -hmm. at, the, at the, you know, for Radio 3. They wanted mm -hmm. some, one person there. You know, I went in and, um, you know, they give you records and I, I you know, I, I had a very good mix. Remember that time Radio 3 was Radio 3, Radio 3. Mm -hmm. You know, but for some reason I had a mix of, uh, you know, you know, local music, local content, and uh, and um, you know, international content, mm -hmm. and admire really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Musikumalo really was like, yeah, you know. And uh, when I opened up my voice, Musikumalo was like, yes, you know. And admire was admire was very was very, he, he didn't really like me at that time. Why? I don't know for some reason, mm -hmm. you know, because what happened was. I think there was a change of, uh, you know, of leadership, right? Musikumalo was upgraded somehow, if I'm not mistaken, and Admire took over. Okay. And then, so, so I'd been uh, accepted, and I waited and waited and waited, and I would call Admire, oh, I'm the one who, you know, and they said, oh, wait, you know, oh, I'm the one who, oh, wait. Call me later. And then one day, he said from nowhere, okay, come, you're going to have a show, uh, you know, for one, for, for, for one hour. And you're gonna was do that it your live. First one? Yes, you're gonna How do did it live. You pay for that? And I'm like, usually what they would do is they would say, you know, uh, you know, you come in and you do it in the studio with somebody or whatever. And, and for so me, so that you learn. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, for so he me, just threw you right for me, he just threw me in. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? But thankfully, though, thankfully God is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, outside this, I had met a mentor. Who, who just fell in love with me and took me in, into his arms. Mm -hmm. His name is Reverend Noah Masimba Pashapa. Okay. Dr. Reverend Noah Masimba Pashapa. Where is he now? Is he here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. you know, Noah Masimba Pashapa. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would go to Radio 4, so I got some a good experience in Radio 4. Mm -hmm. 
early in the morning. Uh, you know, well, you're still not at stage Radio Three. Not this yet. Is, yes. So I, would, I got some a little bit of experience from Radio Four. Okay. So by the time Admire threw me in, <laughs> you know, in that studio, Sylvester will tell you that studio was scary because you're talking about. You know Peter Jones. You're talking about mm -hmm. Teach Matters, the Hitman. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, brilliant. yeah. Brilliant. You know, you are you're talking about all these Bridget Gawanga, Bubble yes. B. You're talking about all these people, and, and then you are thrown in there. You know, and I remember. As a rookie. Yes, I remember. I went in there, and uh, you know, I said, "Welcome. My name is uh, Chaka Mwenya. <laughs> Welcome to ZBC Radio Three. My name is Chaka Mwenya. This is the program. Be with the message." And I played Ron Canoli. God is able. I'll never forget. Did that. that help you? Yes. When I played that, when I played that song, you know, Peter Jones just walked away. You know, just you know, like you said, who is this rookie? You know, hi. Uh, okay. You know, you know, you know. I'm saying that's fine. Listen, I'm here for my own business. So you know, and when that song God is able played, that was it. That was it. And you and down. Yes, and I remember. You know, the next day there was an article in the paper. You know, people were impressed. They really loved wow, me. The first you know, one. First one. You know. You know. You know. So that's that began my. So you my, believe? Do you believe that this was God's grace? Because yes, it was. Yes, it was. Not there's nothing. There's nothing. You see, my, my 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 my. If you look at my life, you know, you're, you're talking about, you know, God. You know, as somebody who is walking by faith, doing everything by faith. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to New York by faith. By faith I'm yes. going to, I'm, I'm going to work on ZBC by faith. Started a, soul, a, a gospel group, Soul Seekers, by faith. So I, I got an opportunity to stand in front of people and sing, just like I wanted. Not as big as uh, Samanyanga, but I did what I wanted to do. By faith, everything. But everything that I'm doing, it's about me, in a way. Even though I was doing a gospel program, I'll do other programs, but mostly it was a uh, uh, gospel program. Be with the message, and uh, I was able to, you know, to enlarge it from one hour to three hours. When Radio Three went uh, 24 hours, so you know it, it became huge. But everything was about what I want. Speaking of faith mm -hmm. and what you want, yes. and putting it together. Yeah. Do you think this was your purpose? Yes, it was. It was because and at Radio how Three, did you, I remember at Radio we Three, we established the, the New York um, part. Of the New York is broadcast. Was that you or was that God telling you that this you is were God? To get into broadcast? This is God allowing me to do what I want and using me at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because I remember, you know, I would do some programs and people would write to programs, and these are different programs. Mm -hmm. Different from everybody else, from Peter Jones, from Hitman, from from uh, everybody else, Cool Modi, everybody. This is different. Bit with a message, mm -hmm. it's spiritual, it's gospel, you know, you know. And uh, I, I'm here, and for some reason, even the DJs, mm -hmm. people who are around me, people that I used to be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, are coming yes. to say, Chaka, can you pray for me? Chaka, I have a situation, you know. Some of those, you know, scandals. You know, I would be, I would find myself in the in the middle of those situations, where I would be helpful to, you know, fellow DJs who look like they got it together. You know. Did that make you feel good about yourself? It made me you feel, feel like I'm, you know, I'm in the right you. place. God is using me in a mighty way. It made me feel. You know, I've always tried to be very humble. I've always tried to be. I wish I could have done that, but you know, <laughs> you know, I, I, I never did that. Just, I never did. Just a little bit no, of salt in me. No, mm. you see, because you know, if you uh, if you understand who is using you, why you are mm -hmm. there, then you know, it humbles you. Okay. It humbles you, and I'm just doing. And you know, I I, I remember the days of Radio Three. You know, I never thought about it a lot, but when every time I come back to Zimbabwe, oh my goodness, you know, I meet people. Oh, you changed my life. Oh, you did this. I remember, I'll never forget, you know, uh, letters of people from writing from us and saying, you know what, when you talked about forgiveness, mm -hmm. when you talked about suicide, mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about suicide. So when you come up with uh, themes mm -hmm. of what you're going to talk about, mm -hmm. is this from God 
or is this is this from personal sometimes because I it's remember I worked with uh, sometimes I worked with Robert Sheriff I worked with uh, Reverend Pashapa sometimes sometimes the Reverend Pashapa said listen I got this guy guest can you bring him to the studio sure you know Pashapa was like you know my mentor sure and then we, we start we take it that way but remember if you wherever you are wherever you are remember what I said earlier when God is still talking to you God is still talking in Genoi, uh, I you know there's a young lady who was sitting down she was on the phone and so she was saying and then I stopped right away and I said Sissy if you continue to say it will always be your namo it will always be your namo so what what are we supposed to say so stop saying namo yangu i because the moment you say namo yangu i so I find out it's a friend yangu i he becomes your friend no, no, I am being challenged there's a challenge I have a challenge no no there's a challenge that's going on right now because listen to this namoka it's it's like a person it's like a person for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've known you for a long time. I don't want to have nothing to do with you whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Face to face, mm -hmm. cash talk doesn't break friendship. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you want to talk to me, mm -hmm. you go and then you shout out whatever you want. I don't want you in my house. I don't want you to, to be in, in this vicinity. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Dragoons, what you chema, never the next door can have a door is also. In any, in any, no. That's a conversation. So if you say, Namuyangui, you become good friends. Because, you know, Speaking of that, mm -hmm. as Christians, mm -hmm. I have, well, this is actually a global um, issue. Mm -hmm. Most of Christian people, mm -hmm. I don't want to say most because I, I cannot populate it. Mm -hmm. But we find Christians mm -hmm. that pray mm -hmm. all the time, yeah. but they're still in poverty. Yes. Is there a certain way of praying? Yeah. Or it, are they missing something? Munwese, um, I struggle. There is a reason for everything. Okay. There is a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. And there's growth that's going to happen. That sister, when I got to Namuyake, mm -hmm. I hope and pray that right now she's at another level. I see the poverty line, young guy. Upper time, you know, no, I'm going to struggle, but I'm going to be successful. If you have hope, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, for I do know the plans that I have for you plans not to harm you, but to prosper you and give you hope and a future. This is God promising us and giving us this. Even in your poverty, even in your poverty, do you know that you can have joy in poverty? Do you know that some of these people we have mentioned, some of these leaders or some of these politicians and the leaders of this country we have mentioned, we have we look like they've got all the money, we, we think they've got this country in their pockets. Do you know some of them are very, very sad individuals? Do you know that some of them are very unhappy? Mm -hmm. Do you know that some of their wives actually wish they did have money, they lived in Kuazana? Because Why? this mansion is not bringing them any happiness. They have the U.S. dollar when the cash, when the cash-strapped country is going through all this, but they have all the U.S. dollars in their homes, but they're not happy. So happiness does not come because you are rich. Poverty does not mean that you are supposed to be unhappy. No. Does it also mean that you, you will be happy? It means, yes, happiness mm -hmm. comes from God. Mm -hmm. Happiness comes from God. Joy comes from God. Though sorrow may last for a night, joy comes in the morning. Joy does not come. Mm -hmm. It's funny. I'm claiming this in the name of Jesus. I'm claiming this in the name of Jesus. But I'm saying that I'm not going to When was this? That was uh, before I went to America. <laughs> she knocked. Uh, on my While you were still broadcasting? Yes, 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 yes. You can knock out doors, but this is all quite a rent. Get over my goodness, God, I claimed in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> you know, but, but it's, the joy is the light of God. The light of when God lights, you know, lights in the dark areas of your life, that brings joy to you. So, again, poverty. I see people all the time. 
you know, uh, in this country. I, every time I come to this country, I lose weight. Not because I don't have money to buy food, not because I, I don't have, um, um, I don't have um, you know, food, I love the food here, but because of the things that I see, the, the things that I, I, I experience, you know, some, one day I remember my, my brother Timothy when I did it, bless you, did you eat anything? I had not eaten anything the whole day. Why? Because I had, you know, I was just, I was depressed by the things that I saw on the streets, the things that I, I experienced. I was so depressed, I didn't even realize that I was hungry. Until she, he said, listen, you're hungry, are you, did you eat anything? I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute, I'm hungry, you know. You know. So, again, poverty is real in Zimbabwe. I see a lot of people who are big, with mansions, you know, but uh, poverty is real. I, everywhere I go, if I if I get something in New York, you, if you go to a hotel, you get a, you give a tip to somebody. Mm -hmm. If you go to a gas station, you give a tip, a dollar or two dollars, five dollars, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I do that even here. And when I do it here, it's like, oh my goodness, people look at you like, oh my goodness. I, I had a guy, I'll show you this. I had a guy, I locked the keys in the car. So this guy spent about 30 minutes trying to help me. And when he finally got it, got my keys out, I gave him five dollars, a US five dollars. He took it like this. He put it on his chest. I'll never forget that. Put it on his chest and uh, like... He was happy. Yeah, five dollars. Every time I'm in New York, if I go to a restaurant, I give people five dollars or ten dollars. It's a tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here, five dollars to this guy, he took it like I said about a hana bag, you know, by chest bag. Like meaning that it's of sentimental value. Yes. I can just come and thank you. Thank you. And I drove away, I wished I'd given him more. Because he, because what he did, he told me a story without putting it into words. What is happening in this country? And those are some of the things that make me uh, feel sad. Yeah, feel sad. I love the joy that I give to others. With uh, you know, I, I I do orphanages a lot. Right now on, on Saturday, I'm gonna be in Chinoy. We're gonna be giving out school fees for kids. Mm -hmm. You know, school supplies and all those things. You know, giving joy. But um, I, ca I can't help noticing you know the political situation as well. Okay. So I would like to <coughs> ask you. Probably a personal question. As a Christian, what message can you give to other Christians right now in this uh, situation economically right now? I would say, I would say, Christians. Uh, do we pray harder? Do we? Fight I would say harder? no. We we, we 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 have talked about praying, and some people talk about praying and then they don't pray. Mm -hmm. We have talked about praying, and uh, I think you know that's a good thing. But I think we should do more than pray. We should, we should take action. When I say take action, take your democratic action that you are allowed to do. Go and register to vote. That's what I would say, I would tell Christians. And I would also say to Christians, Christians, please, you know, the, this issue, you know, of, of staying on the sidelines and allowing some, you know, you know some hooligans to, to just take over positions or in the government or in parliament, it should stop. I think Christians should come out and say, claim, you know, some of these roles to govern mm -hmm. this country. I think Christians, real Christians, should do that. We've also seen Christians and probably pastors as well distancing them, themselves from poli from politics. I understand. There's how, a lot of, how how does it gel? There, there's a lot of there's a lot of fear factor. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I live I'm in New York. It's different. There's a lot of fear factor. You know, from, from what I hear. You know, people are afraid to come out and, and say certain things or be aligned with anything, you know, because some of them are aligned to somebody else who is connected to whoever. So there's a lot of fear. There's no, uh, you, know, you, you, know, you know, they feel like there's no democracy when we say we are in, even though we were in a democratic uh, country. That's how, that's what I'm hearing from friends that I meet, you know. So, but again, Christians, I think Christians should go out and vote and they should uh, take part in the political decisions that are made in this country. They should be able to, uh, you know, to, to say, I want to be president, 
of United, of, of not United States, of Zimbabwe. I want to be, I want to be somebody. I want to be in the parliament. Christians should be able to do that. They, this is Zimbabwe so is supposed to be. There should not be any disparity between no. Christianity and politics. No, we respect people who are who 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 do other religions. Mm -hmm. That's okay, mm -hmm. but as Christians, you know, like you asked me, mm -hmm. I think they should be able to. To, to come out and say, listen, I want to be do, I want to be that. And I've seen some people who, have, you know, who, who, who are saying, you know, I want to be this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And I've seen some people who have actually left <coughs> the United States, left UK to come and say, I want to change, I want to, I want to see change in my country, and then I want to be part of it. And then, how tough is it? In, in, in how tough is life in in New York as compared to to Zimbabwe at this particular time? For okay, me, that's, <laughs> you took for time. For me, okay. Zimbabwe is tough. <laughs> for me, Zimbabwe is very tough. It's very, very tough. But some also say Zimbabwe is home. It, that's why I'm here. Be. That's why I am here. I love this country. That's why I am here. That's why I come here. <laughs> I love this country. You but know. which lifestyle would you Listen, right now, <laughs> New York is my home. That's where my wife and my son are. That's where my job is. Uh -huh. So that's home. Uh -huh. But at the same time, this is this my is country. Home. This is home. Do you feel you know, torn apart? accepted when mm. you're in New York? Listen, uh, listen. If you walk with God, uh -huh. everywhere I lay my head, that's my home. Wherever you go, it's God's home. Uh, the United States does not belong to Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Some, you know. some believe that. No, 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 it does yes. not. I'm sorry. Okay. It, it does not. And, and especially the United States. To? It belongs to God. Okay. Just like this country does not belong to any individual. Mm -hmm. Some people may think they do own this country, but mm -hmm. this this country belongs to God. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so that's why I'm walking around, I'm driving, I'm feeling free, because, you know, God is here god god created this world for everybody you know donald trump may think he you know you know no he's not the country belongs to god you know even the money that he thinks he has he does is not his it's god he can god can take it away from him anytime so you you have kids you, yes you, you i have one son and you have one yes son. i have one how son. old is your son he's nine he's nine yes how he and he lives in new york as yes well. How have you managed to preserve the culture, the, the Zimbabwe culture, while you stay? We teach, in, in we teach, India? we teach our son Shona. We teach him as much Shona mm -hmm. as we can. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, understanding that you know, you know, he lives in a different you know scenario. Mm -hmm. he, he's an American. Yeah, he will try to do some of those <laughs> things. But we we teach him that. Okay. You know, I think it's very important that he he understands. You know uh, who he is. Who he is is he is an American, but he's a Zimbabwean because his parents are from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. You know, so he is American, but he's Zimbabwean. So it's very important for you to understand that. And he loves Zimbabwe. He loves Shona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he tries to learn Devele. You know, so that's that's beautiful. You know, about our son, and we, I, I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I believe that people should teach their children uh, the basic language of you know, Shona, even if they are in the UK or wherever, Australia or wherever, that they need to know Shona. Because they are, they are the future of this country. This generation is being phased out, you know. They are the future. When they come back here, they will still go back to Kukurude, Kukazimba, and all those places. At least they should be able to communicate now, go, go somehow. Yeah. Just one, one last question before yes. we take a break. Okay. Do you think that raising a child in USA is mm -hmm. the most ideal as compared to raising a child here in, in Africa, in Zimbabwe? If your, li if your life is now, you know, where you are, mm -hmm. that's where you should raise your child. I can't send my son, CJ, to come and live here mm -hmm. when I'm not here. So it's more of Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can send him. He would love to. Like you were knowing my son, he would say, "Oh, I want to go to Zimbabwe. I want to go to school." Has he been here? Yes, he has. Yes, oh, twice. Yeah, twice. Every every other year, we try to bring him here. 
Okay. So he loves it. Oh, he loves Zimbabwe. He, he, oh my goodness, he loves Zimbabwe. Okay. Yeah, but you know, you, you know, we have to raise him, you know, in the right place where we are. I can't send him to boarding school at nine in Zimbabwe. What if he gets hurt? You know, what do I do? I can't, I can't fly over. You know, we, we, within twenty four hours. You know, I, I no, 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 no. You know. We're just going to take a short break quickly. We're speaking to Chaka Mwenya. We're going to be talking more about his musical career. Imwane mo harari. The porter pay your council bills. Kuti musazo visiti ruenge ma dead collectors edu kana messenger of court. Zirongeli zekuta oranges. Kuti musi kukuani saba kubadara yeseka wani. Uya iti te payment plan. And if you stick to the payment plan, then you should the change which is always interesting. But instead of Ferrari, you can renew its contract in your cash debt collectors. So can take advantage of this opportunity and avoid embarrassment. You could always chase around, can you push away hoping you could get what you need? Play your part. You can cancel the Ferrari. You can also provide them a safe season. Can you come and expect to go away? Can you have a cash flow? You can only run away now. You can move further. Say you could change your mind. You can easily come back. Itai padoko padoko, kushika maite complete, kana finish chukwere teche nyu. Harare, to achieve a world class city status by 2025. Come in. Have you hey? Yes. Please take a seat. Hello. Hello, sir. The person is here. Okay, just bring her in. Okay, sir. Elegant and astounding look. Modern women now use Pretty Women Cosmetics. Visit us at the following Pretty Women Cosmetic Outlets. Corner Angwa Street and Speak Avenue. Corner Nelson Mandela and Park Street. And at Corner Muyaneanda and Speak Avenue in Harare. Pretty, woman walking down the street. Pretty Women Cosmetics. Where beauty begins.
Seekers right here in Zimbabwe, and I did one uh, CD, uh, two CDs in, um, in in New York, one called Memories uh, in Dangarero, and another one, Music for Orphans, that actually I actually sang with Oliver Mutuguzi, which was uh, produced by a guy called Bashiri Johnson. It became very good in New York. Bashiri Johnson was a uh, was with Michael Jackson when Michael Jackson died. Really? Yeah, he's well known. Bashiri Johnson is his application is his known all over the world, you know. Uh, music for orphans. So everything that I got from that I just sent it to Zimbabwe for to the orphans. Uh, so now I just work with uh, Timothy Wenya, my brother, who is in the UK on his album, that's where the song is being found. We are actually working on the video. So it's it's like a, I'm revamping my music area. So when did you start your music career? Oh, now, you know, you know, now I'm telling you my age. That is like... Uh, I am going know, to be calculating. Yeah, like uh, in 2000, if I'm, that's when we did our first album with the Soul Seekers, you know. And you were still here? Or yes, I was here. here. I was okay. still here. No, no, no. no it's, I think it's 95, if I'm not mistaken. It was in 2000, that's when I left this country. Yeah, so it was like 95. Also, when I worked with the Soul Seekers, uh, Israel, Obed, Timothy, uh, Chris, you know, and then Mo Clive Monomkundu, you know, you know, 
what's the name again? Uh, Nigel Torres. Gospel yes. group. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Soul Seekers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then where, where did it go? I still sing, you know, I still sing in my, even in my church. You in know, the sometimes group? I sing with the, with the worship band, and, you know, and I sing with the gospel choir in New York. I still sing, you know. Um, now I'm thinking about, you know, just doing another album, you know, you know, with a focus of just, just, you know, if whatever I get from it, you know, I'm just want to give it to the orphans, uh, it's, which is, which has become, you know, part of me. Uh, just giving, 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 giving. I'm not receiving all the time and not giving. So you are a singer, you are yes. a, a, a writer, mm -hmm. and you are a pastor. Yes. How do that? How do those relate? It's one of the what's and it's one and the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's one and the same thing. Uh, I I can write songs from my sermons. Um, I can be inspired by you know uh, the things that I see. Mm -hmm. You know, I can think thoughts and I think about, you know, how is everybody else feeling? And I can write a song from that. And I can write a sermon from that. You know. Do your songs come from God as well? Or is it just I believe I believe everything everything God. good comes from God. That's what I believe. Uh -huh. Everything good comes from God except Satan. You know, he was created by God but he became, he decided to be dead. But he was created by God. But I believe everything that, you know, good comes from God. You know, so I believe everything that is good comes from God. I'm just going to read through a few messages that just came in. We have Baba Mukudzehi. So you tell me, any that you are a decent person after those photos which has leaked on uh, your issue with Zodwa. Shame on you. Better you go and act than doing that. Go to Avenues Diko Kwako Chaiko. Thank you so much, Baba Mukudzehi, for your comment and thank you so much for tuning in. And then we have Enika Muzondo. I believe you, Pastor. God speaks to everyone. Thank you so much, Enika Muzondo. Thank you for watching. And then we have Victor Chivije. Amana Chimbozorai Chimbo Kuna En Kani Amana. Everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. We need to forgive because we ourselves need forgiveness. Thank you so much, Victor Chivije. Thank you for watching. And then we have Andre Mumia Mutetwa, Pastor Munoz Brigade. <laughs> Hansi God, Muchana Mata, my security guards instead of God. <laughs> what do you say about that? He has been I like in New that's, York for 17 years. That's, that's a good one, though. I, I really like that. <laughs> and thank God I didn't say guards. Okay. Uh, my brother, you know, I, I live in a in a foreign country. Yes. And uh, I, I could go to God, you know. And to not you know, God. God. Okay. You know, so I did but God. still with the all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when do you come come come? Ukati, uka na uka pari zira vano. Ujiti God. Vano kona ufunga tuwa. Vano tuwa funga chimezi because that remember me me say good never say you sound like a very educated person. Vano vano tell some teacher. I'm just not my 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 words. I know to God and a G O. Uh, a D, I know that they, mm -hmm. they get confused with the word So, but uh, but but I guess you're right. I don't remember in Zimbabwe. I should say God, you know, which is something that I have not been doing for for the last 17 years. So forgive me for that. And the, and you all make sure you can can also know America. I can also make all my same mistakes. I say Andrew. Imagine you're America. Kuna America, O, the A, in a lot of words. So I see so Thank you so much for, for your comment. Um, Andre Mumia Mutetwa, thank you so much for tuning in. And then we have Stephen Matope, Hansi Ikone Night, we address Iromas Kat Ano N. I would like to say thank you very much to the wardrobe, uh, the, the boutique that is spo sponsoring my wardrobe, Vessels of Honor. Thank you so much for your comment as well, Mr. Stephen Matope. And then we have Junior Gong, why are we using Chirungu? 
Okay, Mr. Junior Gong, we're using English because it's a universal language that a lot of people can understand. We'd like to target not only Zimbabwean people, but African people as a whole, and hopefully the whole world. So it's, we truku mixa, so we will not truku mixa, mixa the other time, taita or the lele footy. Because, you see, because, you know, he's right, mm -hmm. because in his own world, mm -hmm. in his own world, in his house or or can I have a Facebook uh, cell phone mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. you should not be hearing Chirungu. Mm -hmm. He's not thinking from a global perspective. Mm -hmm. He's not thinking with Zim DITV is global. global. Mm -hmm. He's reaching out, he's, re he's, he's reaching out. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's actually giving, uh, he's giving you know, a taste of Zimbabwe to a lot of people yes. who will benefit from this. So he's not thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's not <laughs> yeah, but you, you could be right. Yeah, because we, we we have to think about those things. We have to think about those things. This was then I touch tower and I shown it throughout them. The that's shaking up my ways, but when do I mean I can't go It will be a problem again, you know. But I think you know we got big issues in Zimbabwe. We have we have. Why do you think we have big issues? No, we do. We do. I walked in Arare Gardens. Arare Gardens used to be the place to be. People would go after their wedding there to take pictures. Mm -hmm. It is so dirty, I cannot believe it. Mm -hmm. I, it's so, I, 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 and this is the Sunshine City. Mm -hmm. And this is like our, this is like our Central Park. Mm -hmm. Central Park is the New York Central Park. Mm -hmm. This is the middle of uh, New York, there's a Central Park. People come from all over the world to see it. Mm -hmm. Harari Gardens, I think, is our Central Park. Mm -hmm. It's our park where we just go and rest, which is Chanda Pamonotapa. We just want to go and refresh. It's there, but it's so dirty, I could not believe it. Mm -hmm. So we have issues. Mm -hmm. And garbage everywhere. We have issues. Okay. We have Enika Muzondo. Thank you so much. You said amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. And then we have Mavis Bunga following. Thank you so much for following us and thank you for tuning into the program. And then we have Precious Majoni. She says keep keeping on Chaka. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for your comments. So Mataura mm -hmm. Is this where you meet your you met your wife? No, no, I met my wife at the right place. When I say right place. What do you mean right place? <laughs> I met my wife at a youth camp. Okay. Yeah, was this, this in Zim? Yes, yeah, no, no, here. Okay. Yeah, in Domboshava. Domboshava, you know, where the Salvation Army had a, a youth camp, you know, that's where I met her. Mm -hmm. And I, I went to talk to her, you know, in the, by that time Mama, I was Mama already. Mama said, I don't know, Wangawa, Wachita, Wachita. Wachita, 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 so my dad no, but in front of our own eye, you know. Ah, but that's. Madiwa is happy. It's good. Tell me. Ana no shikoa papa beno lo amori sa jo ana na ko. That's it. My name is Chaka Chichi Shanzizo. Mama broke broadcast it, but yes, mama broke it. Yes, yes. So did you use that? No, and I think maybe the back of my mind, I feel like I want to just do something. No, no, shut up. Tight. Yeah. Ana no, it's 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 kind of. Yes. I was going to buy a tea, you know. Hi, my name is Chaka Chichi. She can I know exactly who you are. Okay. But anyway, I know exactly who you are. But you're good to. Mm -mm. I know exactly who you are. Don't even think it. As if I'm going to be a PC, you know what was wrong? No, I didn't have it. You know, but listen, listen to this. If you're working on ZBC, yes. whether you like it or not, you have a reputation. Because, really? yes, I mean, at that Why? time, I don't know how things are like right now because I understand uh, Radio 3 is no longer existing, Kutsi Maruz is no longer on radio. <laughs> he was my trainer, he trained me, Kutsi, oh, Kutsi, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, at that time, if you worked there, even when I, when I wanted to marry, see, see, I don't shut up radio, oh my goodness. Hello. Yeah. Why don't you know, be about yeah, me? Yeah, you know, what, what that's, you that's how it was like, you know. So, and I think she had, you know, at the back of her mind, she was like, oh no, forget it, don't even think it. You know, so I had to and say, and then what did you, you do? Know, and, 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 and so she, she was, she's, this is the girl that uh, was difficult for me. And I like challenges. How long did it take? Four years. Could you add a 
I have another thing. So I got a year. So I got a year. Could that eh? Then we had to start dating. Maybe <laughs> 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 But it would sometimes <laughs> break up, so you have to push it. So it's called a soda. So oh, we've come wow. a long way, but you know, oh, wow. but uh, you know, you know, I dated her for for the next three years. Okay. Know, and then we got married, and um, three days after our wedding, you know, we left the country. Three days after the wedding, yes. we left the country. So the honeymoon and everything. So you spoke about mm -hmm. waiting on God. Yes. How did you know she was the right one? <sighs> this is where I'm saying time four years dating I find I'm gonna my room they'll have run away they'll have run away or I'm gonna go get another person just to, to be spiteful to you as a girl they would have done that you guys do that oh, it is someone's kind of because remember I was right now I, I just came from uh, from Genoi and uh, the relationship issue came up when I was driving because sometimes when I when I'm driving I want to drive with people mm -hmm. so I can hear I can learn mm -hmm. you know you know because they don't know me they don't know who I am mm -hmm. you know and sometimes people notice you and they know you but a lot of times I, I enjoy just being me mm -hmm. and hearing what people say mm -hmm. you know the relationship issue you know apparently it's, it's so bad in this country you know it's, mm -hmm. it's you know it's complicated you know, like the Facebook, you know, you know, your status complicated, you know, <laughs> complicated, you know, don't know where I am right now, you know, you know, so it's, it's patience. Okay. I waited four years before I could marry her. Okay. How many would wait four years? How many can allow their spouse to go to UK for two years mm -hmm. and then join them later? Or how many can wait for five years whilst we're working on the visas until you come there? Some people are doing it. Some people are doing it. But we also know that there are a lot who are like, oh no, one year, that's enough, you should come back here or else it's over. We hear that. <laughs> we hear that and we deal with those things and, uh, you know, and it's, it's sad. And then Reverend Ndawaningi Stone is one of the founding members of ZANU-PF and Bishop Abel Mzorewa also mm. was a politician mm -hmm. and we have the leader of UANC Garfield Todd who was a Prime Minister mm -hmm. coming in as a missionary and now mm -hmm. we have Pastor Ivan Mawarire. Mm -hmm. This flag movement mm -hmm. is other sections of the society saying he should leave politics for politicians. What do you have to say about that? There is uh, Dr. Noah Manyika mm -hmm. also. There is Nkosanu Moyo also. There are a lot of Christians that are, um, that are, you know, getting into the forefront of uh, politics in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I think they should be allowed to. It's their democratic right, mm -hmm. and it's okay. Uh, who am I to tell Ivan? I met Ivan. I met, uh, in fact, it's funny. You're talking about, I, I met Ivan. Mm -hmm. I met Kosano Moyo. I met Dr. Noah Manika. Okay. You know, but I, but I, but I, 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 I thank God for for Christians who say, you know, I wanna I wanna do something about my country, you know, and do it in the right way, mm -hmm. you know, non-violent, not for advocating for for violence. I like that. I, I applaud people like that. I applaud people like that. If I could do it, I would do the same. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do the same. So I think it's it's, it's a good thing. I think it's refreshing. You know, I, I really think it's refreshing. Everywhere I'm going, I'm trying to understand the political situation. Because when you're in a, when you are in New York, mm -hmm. all the things that you know are the things that you see on Facebook, and then on Twitter and on Instagram. Those are the things that you know. So you are you really don't know anything until you come to Zimbabwe and you walk on the ground, because it is the ground that matters. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm asking people, are you voting? What are you going to do? You know, and I'm hearing a lot of people saying, you know, I don't think I'm going to vote. And I'm like, why can't you vote? It's your, it's your, it's your right. And you're like, you know, I don't think it's going to make any difference. It's not going to change anything. 
you know, and uh, it, it it makes me very sad. Mm -hmm. Just to do think that. Think, do you think? Sorry, to mm -hmm. cut you there. Do you think politics should be preached preached in churches? No. No. Mm -hmm. But I think people should be encouraged to 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 to, to vote. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's their democratic uh, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking politics in church, you know, gives the pastor mm -hmm. power to to divert people's individuals attention to whatever they may like because earlier so, yeah. we said that they, there is no disparity between mm -hmm. the two christianity and in, the, in politics no they work so, hand in hand yes mm -hmm. so if we are to go to church and talk mm -hmm. about politics is that uh, sustainable unfortunately because politics does not have the spirituality of everything but people can but come into the politicians are Christians. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Though politicians can come, can bring sp spirituality into the into the government, mm -hmm. into the parliament, mm -hmm. but they cannot bring all these p religions into the church. So it's, we, it's it's unfair for us to bring politics into the church when we cannot. It has to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So I would say you know politics should not be it should be away from them from the pulpit because not everything involved in politics has something to do with the spiritual formation of a person. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my take. It, is every politician a Christian? No. So why are you bringing them into a spiritual place? Definitely not. You know, that's why you realize that a lot of uh, uh, some of these you know, government advocates, some of these uh, people, who MPs and governors who want to be voted in, they want to come to church so that they can get votes from the church. That's unfair. That's unfair. Mm -hmm. That's politics now. Politics sometimes is when you lie to people in their face and you tell them, oh, well, mm -hmm. you know, we are going to build bridges everywhere. Mm -hmm. Build bridges everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then somebody says, stands up and says, but, but, but minister, we don't have bridges. We don't have rivers here. Mm -hmm. And then he says, no, when I win, there will be rivers everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know that's 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 lying to people. You know, that's politics. Mm -hmm. You know, so but where do we draw the line? No, I think again, mm -hmm. you know, for me, mm -hmm. the spiritual discernment. You know, right now I'm looking for right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. I want to register to vote, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for a party that I can join for the first time in my life. For the first time in my life, I want to. Why were you not voting all this time? Any particular reason? I didn't like the politics <coughs> in this country. Mm -hmm. I I didn't feel like just like some of the people will feel like oh you know it's not gonna make any difference, mm -hmm. you know. And then also, you know that aspect of the spirit of discernment, mm -hmm. of knowing or understanding certain things that not everybody can see. Mm -hmm. So, but for the first time, I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna join a party. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to, you know, understanding who I am as a preacher, as a pastor, mm -hmm. uh, I want to join a party, you know, have a party card, mm -hmm. and, uh, and be able to go and vote mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe for the first time. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. So I'm looking, do you have any suggestions for me? Where you can vote? No, no, no. Any political party that you <laughs> <can>. <laughs> that, that is a personal decision <laughs> that everyone has to make. I know, it, I know. It, it, it all depends I'm, on I just want to get you a little bit. You've been asking so many questions. I'm like, now no, you want what? to ask me yeah. a question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no support for the security of the Yes, and definitely. definitely. Um, and during swearing in ceremonies, mm. we yeah. have seen that ministers, they swear in by the Bible and they, mm. you know, to serve, mm. you know, to, mm -hmm. to say, we will do our duty to serve mm -hmm. the country and to serve the people. Mm -hmm. But we've also seen some ministers who are involved in a lot of corruption. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about that? This country has become so corrupt um, that it makes me sick to the stomach. Do you think it's just this country or it's the no, world? No, no, no. You know what? It's okay for me. It's okay for me to think about Nigeria, uh, Kenya. But you know what? I'm not very, I'm not very educated. I'm not very smart. That I should involve myself in the issues of Nigeria, United States, New York, and Zimbabwe are enough for me. They are enough for me. Uh, you know, I love the whole.
my heart is in Zimbabwe and New, and New York where I live. So that is where my heart is. So whatever is happening elsewhere, I look at it and I see it. But my main concern, my issues are in this country. The things that I see. So if they are corrupt, you know, Nigerian ministers, you know, you know, I, I'm sure there are Nigerians who can look at that. My issue is this country. So, so I'm not saying I don't care. Mm -hmm. I love Africa, mm -hmm. but my issues, you know, are in this country. I wish we could be better. It's one of the things that I was, you know, I wanted to do a video one time. I was like, you know what? I, I just wanted to challenge the ministers, you know, the whole government to say, can you for one day just say, you know what? Wait a minute. Uh, this this month, let's not receive money. Let's not receive pay. Mm -hmm. This month we are not going to receive pay and we're going to take all our paychecks and give it to the poor. Just one month. Just one month. Just one month to say the ministers, the whole government says, you know what, today, this month we are not going to get paid. We want to give all our resources, all the money that we get here to the poor. Do you think it should also start with you? Uh, good. Thank you. Thank you. If you come to Genoa on Saturday, yes. you will see some of the things that I'm doing. And the thing about it is I don't have to show the world what I'm doing. I don't have to, I, do, I can't even tell you how much money I've put into this country, mm -hmm. how many children I have helped, how many orphans I've helped, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm sure some of the government o o officials have done good things. And it's not everybody who may be corrupt or who may not be in the right place. But it's one of the, it's just a personal thought. If I could have a, you know, if I could have an opportunity to, 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 to talk to the government one day, the Zimbabwean government, I would want to ask them, can you, is, there, is it okay for you just one day, just one month? You can write a letter. I wrote I a letter do? to the government. Yes, I can? you can write to, to different ministries that you think uh, will, well, obviously, that are related to Is it possible for me to write a letter that can go straight, like, it can get to the president? I believe so. Oh. You send to the different ministries. That's what I did, and I think okay. people should also lobby for that. And, okay. And, and yeah, I want I want to do that. I want to I want to ask the government, mm -hmm. our government mm -hmm. officials, mm -hmm. who get paid mm -hmm. uh, through our money, mm -hmm. just for one month, just one month. Mm -hmm. This month, we are all going mm -hmm. to. We are not going to receive our paychecks. We're going to give all that oh, to the poor. I am not part of the, mm. the government who are paid. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Shaka no Thank you for being here. No problem. Thank you so much, viewers, for watching. I, I've been speaking to Chaka Mwenya. He is a preacher. He is a musician as well and a broadcaster. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. This live cast has been powered by Zim DITV News, a division of Sly Media Productions, specialists in social media streaming and in-house TV productions.